numbers, none for 29. Those were Rahul Chahar's figures as the rest of his team uh, conceded 257 against Lucknow Super Giants. That stands out. But for him, so far this season for the Punjab Kings, wickets have just not been coming, which makes him the player under the spotlight as we build up to Chennai Super Kings against Punjab Kings with Tom Moody. Tom, thanks as always for your time. Uh, why do you reckon Rahul Chahar, who was so prolific among the wickets, especially in his time at Mumbai Indians for those three, four years, uh, what do you reckon has gone wrong when you look at that wickets column and how it's dried up for him? I think it's, uh, it can happen to players, whether they're batsmen or uh, bowlers, when they move franchises, that, uh, that change of environment, uh, that change of management of how uh, you know, he's used to being managed around his bowling has not benefited him, obviously, um, because there's no question of what he can offer, as you quite rightly said, he bowled beautifully the last game when it was all breaking loose. Um, but uh, you know, that can then have an impact on your confidence. You know that the environment you're in, you don't feel totally settled. He's been left out of that side as well uh, last season. Uh, and I think he may have missed a game this season yes. as well. So that, that doesn't do any player any good with regards to their confidence and their belonging to that franchise and to that team. It's also obviously come at a time when, as of 2021, he was a late entrant into India's T20 World Cup scheme of things. Mm. But then he slipped away from that national radar. Uh, if you look at this contest, he has typically enjoyed bowling to left-handers more than to right-handers. So a bunch of left-handers in that CSK lineup, and also the fact that it's Chepok. Mm. So should be uh, an ideal setting for him to find some of his mojo back. Well, I think that mojo was found back in the last game, even though his team were defeated quite heavily. But I think he'll walk away feeling personally, you know, quite uh, satisfied and and uh, you know some sort of gain some sort of confidence from that bowling performance. And you're right, those two other points, the fact that he's going to a venue that it does favour a bit of turn and a, a, you know, for, for the spinners and a heavily um, a weighted left-handed top order. Uh, but also knowing that top order, even though they're left-handed, they're still very good players to spin. So he'll have to, he'll have to bowl well. Um, but I think you know, he's a player on the rise, put it that way, uh, from, a, from a confidence point of view and I'm sure from an impact point of view. Um, he's too good a bowler, to go missing for too long, and uh, hopefully he can uh, get some sort of momentum from his last performance. And how would you assess Punjab's chances on the whole in this game against Chennai? A rather quick turnaround for them after mm. that high-scoring game in Mohali against Lucknow? Yeah, um, you know, th th they'll have to pick themselves up, and sometimes uh, that quick turnaround is a, is a bonus because you don't have a lot of time to think about it. You suddenly, next day, you're travelling down to Chennai, you're getting over you know, the fatigue of the game, you're getting over the fatigue of travel, and you're then preparing yourself for the next contest. Um, so I think it's not a bad thing, the, the fact that they uh, have that quick turnaround. I think they've got the, the artillery uh, in, their, in their squad to be able to uh, perform well in Chennai. You know, they've got the spin, obviously, of Chaha. They've got uh, Bra, who I'd imagine would come back into the side. They've got Raza, they've got Livingston, two overseas batters that bowl spin as well. So they've got the variety, plus also they've got uh, an impressive pace attack. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether they persevere uh, with Rabada, um, given, the, given the sort of consistency that Ellis has had when he has played. So that's a decision that I'll have to make uh, once they get down there. So far, it's only Rajasthan Royals who've been able to stop Chennai Super Kings at Chepok. Can Punjab Kings add themselves to that list? Yeah.